all you hairy cats and kittens. It's Carol. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Melinda. So in today's video, I am going to be giving you my highly requested, I'm so sorry, eight week update using the Kenzie at home IPL treatment device thingy. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a q and A. I've gotten a lot of questions on both of my videos that I made um, about the Kinsey. I made a first impressions video and a four week update if you want to go and watch those videos before this one so you'll be all caught up. But yeah, um, one thing really quick, I'm in a little bit of a different setup today because the other room I film in is so freaking bright. It washes my hair out and makes it look like a wig. It's not a wig by the way. This is my real noggin and it just like is really weird and makes my hair look like a neon highlighter. So this lighting is a little bit better. Okay, now that's out of the way. I am going to start with my eight week update. I have a few after pictures for you guys and then the end of this video will be my Q&A portion where I answer some of your most frequently asked questions. That way you'll have all the answers in one place. So if you're interested in, oh, okay, I thought I wasn't recording on my mic. So if you're interested in this video, then keep on watching, okay. So really quick, just to recap, the IPL device is an intense pulse light therapy device. So in theory, it like slows the rate of your hair growth and you should have like no hair growth and only really have to touch up like once a month after you finish your eight week treatments. Okay, so um, today I'm gonna be telling you guys what my results have been after using the device eight times. Um, if you look back at my other videos and you look at the dates when they were posted, I'm a little bit off on my timing of all this because I will be honest, I missed like a few days here and there. Like I was supposed to do it every Thursday and then I would like forget on Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday and then I'd end up doing it like on Tuesday and you can only do it once a week. So every time I would forget to do it on a day, it would like set my whole schedule back if that makes sense. I had planned on being really, really like strict with this, but I honestly just got lazy. So I'm really sorry. I am still having results though, so that's good. Okay, anyways, just like in my last video, I am having the most results on my legs. So I'm going to put a few pictures up right here of the results I'm having on my legs. So these pictures are after using the device eight times. And this is a week of hair growth, which is absolutely insane for me at least. This is what my hair growth used to look like after like two days of not shaving. And now this was a full seven days without shaving. So as you can see, I have like a bald strip of hair or like not a bald strip of hair, a bald patch, I guess. But the bald patch is like getting longer and longer and I'm really excited. And then you can see that some of the other hairs, like some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. So they're just like growing in at different rates now. And I'm really excited. Again, this is where I'm having the most results. These pictures are on my shins. And that's where I'm having the best results so far, but I'm really excited about that because my legs were definitely one of my main areas of concern. Those are the only pictures I have for you guys because I mean, one of the areas I'm treating is my bikini line. Not gonna put that on YouTube, that's weird. And then my armpits, my armpits are still like, pretty hairy if I'm just being honest. Like it's not, I'm not having as quick of results there. So I don't really wanna put my hairy armpits on YouTube right now. But I will say that in my last update video, I don't know, I don't remember if I was even noticing any results after four weeks on my armpits. Now that it's been eight weeks, I am noticing results and I'm so freaking excited because I'm starting to see like some bald spots and then um, some places where again, the hair growth is a little bit shorter and then in some places it's longer. And that's becoming more and more apparent with every single session that I do. So I'm really excited. I know a lot of you guys, two of your main areas you were really curious about using um, the Kinsey for was your underarms. And then I think like your mustache was like the two areas that a lot of people really wanted this device for. So the other place I'm treating is my bikini line. So this is kind of weird. Like I am noticing some results, but not a lot. And I'm noticing more on one side of my bikini line than I am on the other. Like this side is being really stubborn and kind of annoying and I'm not noticing as good of results. And then on this side, it's like, I'm having great results and I'm really loving it. So it's kind of weird. I don't know if I have like a weird hormonal thing going on to where one side it would be more effective because I'm treating both sides with the same setting on the laser. Again, if you don't know, you can do a setting anywhere from one to five, five being the most intense. 
I do a level five on my entire shin area, which is probably why I'm having the best results there. And then I do a level four on my thighs. I do a level three on my armpits because it's like actually kind of painful on my armpits. And then I do a level five on my bikini area, which it is painful a little bit, a teeny bit on my bikini area, but I suck it up because I like really want results there. <sighs> So the Kinsey is $170 and I did buy it myself. These videos are fully not sponsored. I was not sent the Kinsey, I paid for it. Um, but I have had a lot of people commenting on my videos about cheaper options and I do actually have a cheaper laser for you guys. I'm going to be linking it in my description box and the company is actually sending it to me. So this laser is actually $70 cheaper than the Kinsey is. The name of the company is Catch Beauty. So they're actually, this video is not sponsored by them either, by the way, obviously I'm talking about Kinsey, but they are gonna send me their device. And I did have someone comment on one of my videos asking if anyone has tried the Catch Beauty laser because it is significantly cheaper. And I wanted to let you guys know that I am actually going to be trying that laser out and comparing it to the Kinsey so I can let you guys know if it really is the same device because if it is, it's literally $70 cheaper and that is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Catch Beauty on this arm and I'm gonna use the Kinsey on this arm and do the same thing I'm doing now, give you guys updates. So I'm really excited about that. That video should be coming very, very soon. And yeah, I might have a cheaper option. Yeah, I might have a cheaper option. <laughs> you guys, am I literally okay? I might have a cheaper option for you guys. So I'll go ahead and link that laser if you want to go ahead and get it, but I will be reviewing it and testing them side by side. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the Q&A portion of the video. Um, I just have the screenshots of the questions on my phone and I'm going to be referencing this. So one of the questions was, can you use the laser device over tattoos? And no, you cannot. Um, it is best for lighter skin and darker hair because it does target the pigment in the hair, but you can use it if you do have a deeper skin tone, I would just be cautious. Kinsey does have a like skin tone chart and they do kind of recommend that if you're any darker than the darkest skin tone on the chart, not to use it because it could burn you because again, it is targeting the dark pigmentation. That being said, you should not use the device over really dark freckles or moles and you definitely should not use the device over dark tattoos or probably tattoos in general, but I would ask Kinsey just to be sure because I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, I would not use it over tattoos. Tattoos. If you're fully tattooed, you probably can't use this device. Someone asked me if the window where the laser comes out has darkened. No, mine has not. I have not had any issues with it. Okay, um, I've been getting this question a lot. Is the laser safe to use on the face? Yes, it is, but I believe it's mustache and below. Again, I would check Kinsey's website just to make triple sure because since I'm not sponsored by them, I don't really have any extra information for you guys other than what's available to all of us. But I do believe you can use it on the mustache mustache area, but you don't want to go any higher than that because you just don't want to get that close to your eyes because it is a laser. So yeah, I do think you can use it on your mustache. And if you have any hair down here, you can probably use it on that too. Um, I don't personally, so I do have a mustache and I have a lot of peach fuzz on my face and neck actually, but you have to shave before you use the Kenzie and I don't want to shave any areas that are affected by hormones because my hormones are out of whack in my body. I have a hormonal imbalance. And if I shave those areas, it does grow back darker. So I know a lot of people like to say that that's not a real thing, but it is at least for me, I know my body and that would not be a good idea. It would make my problem worse before it got better. And then I don't trust that it could get rid of it if I grew a full on beard. So I do not use it on my mustache or in this area at all. I'm just not gonna touch that area. I bleach my mustache and I'm perfectly happy just doing that. But if you want to, yes, you can use it on your face. Um, so someone asked, after you zap the hairs, where do the hairs go? I am not sure, to be honest. Some people said that they fall out, but I haven't noticed that. When I got actual laser hair removal done in a salon, I would notice that the hair follicles would like ball up and fall out, but I don't notice that with this as much. So I'm actually not sure about that, to be honest. Um, someone else asked if there are any side effects or hormonal changes. I, not for me, I don't know. Is that a thing like for these devices to cause that? I'm honestly not sure. I don't wanna say no, 
I would ask Kinsey, but no, I haven't experienced any myself. So someone asked, how long do these machines last for? Kinsey says that you get 10 years worth of flashes. So I'm not really sure exactly how that breaks down, but 10 years worth of flashes. I'm assuming that would be using it once a month though, because after you do your 12 weeks, they say that you should only really have to use it once a month for like maintenance and upkeep. So whatever that evens out to be. Okay, so someone was saying that they have darker pigmentation around their bikini area and then on their underarms, and can they still use the laser in those areas? Um, I would say you most likely could. I would just again reference Kinsey's skin tone chart, and as long as your darker areas are not darker than the level that they recommend using it on, then I would say that you are good to go and still use it on those areas. And they also asked if it works better on darker areas or lighter areas. I would say that it probably works better on lighter areas just because if your skin tone is light and your hair follicle is dark, then the laser doesn't have any problem problem finding that dark pigment in the hair and just targeting your hair but if you have a deeper skin tone and dark hair it may not be as effective but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that so someone asked if this permanently removes hair um, I don't think that any device or salon can actually claim that any hair removal is permanent because every single person's body is different. Again, even when I was getting it done in a salon, they said that they couldn't claim that it was permanent. So I would imagine that Kinsey can't claim that either. However, it should slow the hair growth down. You should have pretty consistent bald spots and stuff like that. I don't think that once you finish your treatments, you will never have to use any type of hair removal device again. I would say that you probably would have to maintain whatever results you have gotten, but it just won't be as frequent. So for me, that's still completely worth it to be honest, because like I said in my very first video, after I would shave, I can see black stubble the very next day. So I would have to shave every single day in order to have the results that I have now after going a week without shaving, if that makes sense. So I think that this is just making my beauty routine easier. It's not necessarily permanently making it so I never have hair again, but I just don't have to worry about my hair for longer periods of time. Someone asked if you have to shave before each application, and yes, you do. You need to shave and then use the device either immediately after that. If you have sensitive skin, I would wait a day. I typically wait a day, but I wouldn't wait any longer than one day before using the treatment. But yes, you do wanna shave before you use the device so that the laser can get to the follicle of the hair, and yeah, you just can't use it on really long hair. Somebody asked me what adapter I got for the and I didn't need an adapter. Um, mine came with this plug, so it goes into my outlets just fine. I am in the US if you're wondering. Hey guys, so I'm actually in the middle of editing this video and I realized that I totally forgot to answer one of y'all's most asked questions, which is, is this helping with strawberry legs? So let me answer that really quickly for you. The device itself isn't getting rid of the strawberry legs, but for me, what was causing my strawberry legs was shaving and irritating my skin, or at least that was making it worse. So right now I'm only shaving once a week because I'm only shaving right before my next session. That's just creating a lot less irritation on my legs. So by default, my strawberry legs are less prominent. So no, the laser itself is not doing anything to get rid of these strawberry legs, but since I'm not irritating them so frequently with a razor and getting razor burn and making it look worse than it is, by default, it's kind of looking a little bit better and improving. So yes, it actually is helping overall and the appearance of the strawberry legs has definitely decreased because I'm not having to shave as often. And once I finish my 12 weeks, Kinsey claims that you'll only have to touch up once a month. So I'm hoping that means I only have to shave once a month. And that might mean that the strawberry legs might completely go away if I'm like removing all things that irritate it, which again is the shaving. So I hope that answers your question. Um, and another thing I just wanted to mention is a lot of people are having some issues with Kinsey, whether it's their device breaking and then customer service with Kinsey is not responding to them or, you know, whatever. 
and I just wanted to bring a little bit of attention to that. I am assuming Kinsey's probably gonna watch this video. So if you guys have had a negative experience with your device and you haven't heard back from customer service, leave it down below and Kinsey, please help these people out and give them free returns. But yeah, I don't want you guys to feel like I don't hear you. I see your comments and that you're frustrated that your device broke or you're having an issue and then Kinsey either didn't respond or you didn't like the answer that they gave you, which was that you had to pay for shipping. So um, yeah, I want you guys to be able to express that in the comments and hopefully Kinsey will reach out to you guys and help you get your issues resolved. If you are nervous about purchasing from Kinsey specifically, like I said, I will have that other device linked down below and it is cheaper. It's still a hundred dollars, but it's 70 less than the Kinsey. And if you ended up having issues, it's not as much money. So I don't know if that helps at all. Um, I haven't had any issues with my Kinsey though, to be honest with you. like. It hasn't burnt me, it hasn't gotten too hot, it hasn't overheated. It made like a little rattling noise, but it's not affecting the way that it's actually working and I'm still getting really good results. So I am really loving these at-home laser hair removal systems just because it's super easy and convenient and still, I know even $170 isn't that cheap, but that's still so much cheaper than if you went to an actual salon and got it done. I think I paid $400 for three sessions or four sessions, I believe. I don't know. So it's definitely still cheaper. Um, yeah, I highly recommend these. I'm really, really loving it. I hope I answered all your questions. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any more questions and I will be sure to include the answers. I'll respond to you first of all. I respond to all my comments, but I might also include your question in an upcoming video. That way if someone else has the same question, they can hear it all in one place again. Um, so yeah, also, if you guys have tried the Kinsey and you are having good results, leave those comments down below too. I don't just wanna like crap on Kinsey and be negative either. So if you guys have tried this, then definitely let me know. But yeah, I hope I answered all your questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful to you. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these types of videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Uh, um. My, it is so windy outside. My front porch awning is about to get ripped off. Anyways, I actually did my, um, we, I did my, <gasps> but I might also include your question in an upcoming, in an, blah, 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 blah.